we ain't really do nothing yet. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Cause we we looking to go to Final Four. Like that's where our mind at. You know what I'm saying? But it's like one game at a time type thing. But we just trying to like build as a team, build as a team on these games that we playing. So when we get there, it could be easier for us. You know what I'm saying? The transition. And I'm excited, me personally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, that's like the talk of the town. You want to beat the best to be the best. So that's what mm-hmm. we on. You're like, especially as a girl, like sometimes like competitiveness is not like people don't want to see it and they don't want to see the aggression and like the frustration or the shit talking like they don't want to see that in women's sports that's who I am like I'm fiery I'm passionate like I love basketball like I'm super competitive like I'm gonna fight so how did you kind of find your stride with this new role on the team outside of being the scorer and amazing player that you are but in the locker room being that leader that the team needs you to be it's on my shoulders to um, carry over the legacy of like what we do at Louisville. And I really had to go outside my comfort zone and um, incur- like learn how to encourage certain type of people and how to get the best out of them. Angel Reese, like what she doing right now is like mm-hmm. unheard of, it's crazy. And yeah. at halftime, She's averaging like 14 points, eight rebounds at halftime. Like just seeing like what she doing, how she trailblazing. That's really dope. I ain't never seen nothing like it in my life. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like just, it, it's like crazy for me to watch. I'm like playing with her. I'm seeing her do this. Like I'm watching her, yeah. play, watching her take my rebounds. Like it's, it's crazy, <laughs> it's crazy. You know, approaching these big games, what's, what's the mindset like in the locker room, the weeks moving into those practices, this and that? Playing for Kim Muggle, like we just got, it's just certain standards here. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. it's certain standards. And for some people, they're too high. You know what I'm saying? To reach. And if you're yeah. on the bandwagon, then you're going to get left. But like everybody mind is at that standard. Like you're going to practice at this standard. You're going to play at mm-hmm. this standard. And you have expectations at this standard on and off the court. So the standard that we own, it, it just it just make everything easier. You know what I'm saying? Practice all, play all. Like me, I just like to work. Like I'm going to just be in the gym getting up shots, working on my handle, mm-hmm. whatever I need to do, because I know that when the game comes, like, I got to be on point. Our transition on offense definitely allows me to be a facilitator, you know. We want to push the ball as much as we can in transition. Like, that's our best offense. We're better in transition than we are in the quarter court. We allow any guard to bring the ball up. You know, we, we want to outlet it really quick. Um, our shooter spot up, four or five run, first one down runs to the block. So... I think that allows me to be creative within our offense and find a lot of mm-hmm. different ways to get Ma on the ball or get get the shooters uh, the ball. So I think there's definitely that element to it as well. My question is, is there ever like a heat check? Because it seems like the heat check is first out of the game. If I start the game off hot and like I hit a three, like, oh mm. my, like they're going up and like my teammates know. I just hit a couple two, a couple threes or something like that. Like watch out because it's transition threes going up Mm -hmm. and you can like just tell like if you just look at me like you know it's going up like everybody's coming to play you know like yeah everybody's coming to play don't matter the name on your jersey they're like all right well we got a game let's go it don't matter the rankings that's how i always think though like like rankings they for sure look great Mm -hmm. i'm ranked number three i'm ranked number four but everybody's coming for that you know they're coming oh we about to play them let's go like but i feel like that's for us being you know at the top like it's important that we remember that too though like okay well we know they're coming like we can't take them for granted no matter what ranked or not how much have you been thinking about the draft but playing in the WNBA, but still having your senior year like staying where your feet are but also understanding that the future is coming so soon how has that been coach they even talked to us about it before you know we started the season talking mm-hmm. about the seniors and she was like you know a lot of you guys your goal has been to go to WNBA, and you know that time is really creeping up on us and it's about here and she was like and there are going to be days where you're like one foot in and one foot out in that you're here but you're also thinking about the future and she's like I just want you guys to do one thing and that's try your best to keep you know like both feet where just be where, where your feet are we're so deep like we have so many people that can you know score like go somewhere and just be a star and just score yeah. 30 points a night like we have those pieces and it's just like anybody on the team is having a bad night it's not like oh we're doomed like oh yeah. we need that person to do something for us because we have multiple pieces like that so i just feel like it just makes it special you just got to utilize that and continue to um get better from there but 
there's so many different ways to impact mm. the game, which I feel like a lot of people may not understand at this right. level. You know, we have a lot in common, like mm-hmm. literally like you can be a, bring the ball up, dish it off, rebound, you know, defense. It's not all about, you know, just all putting up, like points and stuff. I mean, of course, like you want to score, but it's just like it's not all about that. And we bring so much to the game. It's just like it's hard. It's just hard. to stop. Yeah. 